Good afternoon, Kelly Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0. And today is day 60. So today we're going to take you into Client Updates, a newly released feature that came out here over the last week through MegaCamp. And yesterday I had you guys building out your custom stage checklist within Opportunities. So we're going to dive into Opportunities. And this is going to be a little bit longer of a video because the client updates is basically a three part process. The first thing that we want to do is go into any one of the pipelines, any one of those phases within that pipeline. So let's just choose listings active. The first thing I'm going to do is come into edit stages and I want to set up my settings for my opportunity updates, my client updates. So I can click on this gear. Alternatively, from any other page, I can access my settings menu by going into the drop down here, clicking on settings, and then again, this is command settings, and then opportunity settings, client update. So on this screen, you're going to see two tabs. The reason I have two tabs is that I am a rainmaker on a team. So I have my team pipeline, and then I have my personal pipeline. If you're a rainmaker on a team, then you'll most likely have both tabs. If you are an individual agent, you won't have the team tab. And if you are a buyer's agent or somebody on a team that is not the Rainmaker and your individual pipeline has been turned off, then you should only see your team pipeline. What we need to do first is basically set up our settings for the client update process. So the first thing we wanna do is decide when will the system check for client update items? And my recommendation is have that happening at the end of the day so the system kind of checks everything you've done that day and can send out those emails based upon your work for the entire day. Second, you can decide who that's coming from. So this is my team pipeline. I can decide whether that's automatically coming from the Rainmaker or the owner of the opportunity. Next, I can decide who typically, right? What's the default for who's gonna receive the client update? Is it the client and co-client or the primary client only? Finally, I can decide who is also going to receive a copy, whether that's the assignees, the owner, both, or neither. So I can check or uncheck either of those. Finally, if you'd like to see an idea of what the email looks like, you can click on preview here. And you can see you're gonna have your branding at the top, <clears throat> your contact's name. If the opportunity has been linked to a listing in the MLS, then you'll see the address of that listing in the lead photo. If it's not connected to a listing, then it should just say something very similar to, we're checking things off the list. Here's a summary of tasks we have completed. The checklist items down here will be the exact verbiage of the checklist items you create in your stage checklists. So a little bit more about that in just a second. Next, you'll see you're gonna have your marketing information here at the bottom and then an opportunity to download your link and then of course all the legal. So once you've made these settings selections, if you change anything, you'll have the opportunity to go in and save changes. You'll wanna do that and save the changes. Next, you're gonna come back to your opportunity pipeline and you're gonna go into those edit stages, right? The button that you've been working on yesterday or in the past, building out all of your custom checklist items. So we're gonna click on edit stages we're gonna go into our checklist and we're gonna decide which of these items is a client update item. Now, initially I had a client update item that just said stage the house, right? Well, that's not exactly the most attractive client update item to receive in an email. So I actually came in and created a secondary checklist item that says initial make ready confirmed. Please expect a call, whoops, I clicked on it just in time. Please expect a call from Carolyn Knight with Interiors by Knight Designs. That's the name of my stager, and that's what the client would see because I'm gonna select this as a client update item. And you can see I get a little mailer there, right? Um, so next you can see I had schedule photography session. Well, eh, that still doesn't look as good. So I can come in and say, now this one is the one that the client would receive. Final staging confirmed. Please prep for photos and expect an email and call from Mel Garrett with MLS Shots Photographer. Um, so that's basically what I would make the client update item. So you're going to have some internal facing checklist items that only you know about and that you're checking off for your list. And then some external facing checklist items that the client would receive an email about. I would just make sure that the external items are as clear and comprehensive as possible. 
side note, you can include a URL in these checklist items. So if you want to send them to a particular place, you could do that, right? And that way they could actually land on whatever that might be that you're attempting to get them to do or, or uh, direct them towards. So step two, come in and decide which of your checklist items will be client update items. This you should only have to do once. Finally, you're gonna come into the actual opportunity that you're going to send updates to. And so here's one of my active opportunities. I would click on the opportunity and finally come up to the client updates button at the very top of the screen. Once I click on client updates, you can see that I can toggle on or off daily progress emails. Now, this is automatically toggled off. So if you want your clients to receive the emails, you would need to toggle it on. And then you can see all of your default settings will come up. Now you can change these defaults if for any reason you wanted to, but you can see here's the time that I defaulted to check the system for update items. I defaulted it to come from me, but I can also come in and change that if I needed to. Uh, I defaulted it to go to the buyer and also get CC to the assignee and the owner. Well, I'm both the assignee and the owner and I don't want a whole bunch of extra emails, so I can take that off. And then I also have the ability to add contacts here as well that might want to get an update on that. Finally, I have the ability to preview the email one more time. And then if you're still kind of interested in seeing more about this, this is a fantastic answers article, answers.kw.com. This is run by two amazing people there at KWU. And uh, this is the most updated version, right? It was just updated eight days ago to tell you more about client updates. So now that I have saved the changes, anytime I move this particular opportunity to a stage that has a series of checklists, I can click on that checklist. And if it was a client update item by default, this would already be checked. I can also override and say, you know what? Typically this would not be a client update item, but I want this particular item to go to the client. So I could click on that. And then at six o'clock, the system will check. Did I have any client update items checked? And because I have this one checked, it would send out an email to this buyer about this particular item. I don't want that to happen, so I'm gonna uncheck it. But you can see now the three-step process. The first step, go into your settings, set up your defaults. Your second step, go into your stage checklist items and decide which of those need to be client-facing checklist items where they would receive an email about them. And you might wanna change the verbiage so that looks professional for the client. Finally, go into each of your opportunities and toggle on or leave it toggled off if you decide. But I think the majority of us will want that toggled on on all of our opportunities. Double check the defaults, make sure that's the way we want it. And then rest assured that at 6 p.m. or whatever time you've set each day, the system will check for new items that have been checked off. Now, if there are no new items, no email goes out. So it's, you're not gonna get an email every day and be like, your agent didn't do anything again today, right? Um, so it's just when you check something off that the email would actually be sent to your clients. So I apologize for a little bit longer video, but a new and exciting feature. Wanted to make sure we covered that completely so you guys knew and understood it. That's it for today's 60 of the Keller Williams Command 66 Day Challenge. As always, I hope all of you are having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.